Hello, um, the weather's kind of smuggy, so I'm in the bedroom today, and, um, you see there's no sunlight coming in through the windows. So, um, I just got off the phone with AT&T. You know, it's well chronicled that AT&T has helped me out in my time of need. So, I've been fighting to keep my phone number. Well, I haven't been fighting hard enough. Apparently, um, I lost my phone number on the 3rd. What's today? Today is the 8th. So, um, I called them today, AT&T, to complain. I'm like, you know, I owe you guys $350, like $358. Bucks. Um, I'm getting calls from other agencies saying that I owe 500 some dollars, and another agency told me that I owe 400 some dollars, all for the same phone bill from AT&T and I told AT&T is like I just got my funding and I wanted to pay you guys today because today I was going to take care of all my business and I was calling the lady and I was telling her I'm going to go pay you guys today what do I need da, 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 da. I need to you know start this service I want to pay this old shit off I want to start this service and this service and this service and lace as well you can't get your phone number because your phone number has been recycled. And as far as the uh, the collection agency is calling you, you can't pay us back. And I'm saying, well, I owe AT&T. I don't owe such and such collection agency. So there's no way I'm going to give these people, you know, 500 plus dollars. And I only owe 300 some dollars. So, you know, how much deposit would I have to put down to start another phone service line service with AT&T and they said that had to be redetermined blah 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 yakety yakety and I told her you need to put uh, you know a note in my in my folder because you know your social security card number with any agent you got a folder they, they they know who you are based on your social security card number that you have used to get your service with them so I'm like you need to put this in my folder that I'm willing to pay you guys today in full the 300 and da 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 I owe you and I'm not willing to pay five hundred dollars to this one company or four hundred dollars to this other company for the same debt that I owe AT&T it's not gonna happen I'm willing to pay you guys and start a new service and expand the service because the funding is here now can I get the service pretty much and I, I told the lady put this in my folder so now I've lost my phone number phone number that it took me four or five years to establish. Everybody that's got my phone number out there in the world, call that phone number up and ask X for the real AIX. Ask him, is Alonzo there? Hello? Hello? Call him. 24 hours a day. And when they abandon my phone number, I'll get it back. Simple as that. Call these. No, I just, I don't do that. Don't bug nobody. I'm going to go ahead and get me a new phone number, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking about getting one of those magic jacks, uh, and then that'll be the number for the people to contact me on the internet. I do want a number where those people out there who think I'm bogus or a fraud can actually call me. Um, I was going to set up a phone call with somebody who I've been talking to lately, back and forth on the internet, and um this person, I don't know, he, he gave me his number and I just can't call him back on the home phone number because when I call people from the home phone number to see the block number and they don't want to answer the phone, blah, 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 blah. Then a few other people who I was going to talk to, they're saying that uh, they don't want to do videos. They talk to me on the phone, but they don't want the phone conversation to be recorded. And if I'm having a combative relationship with you, if we're jousting, I am going to record the conversation because, you know, there's friends of mine out here on YouTube that don't record the conversation. Me and Helen back, we don't record our conversations. Now, the video is so cold when I'm driving across the bridge, the whole time I'm driving across the bridge, I was talking to my boy Helen back. The whole time. For the 45 minutes it took me to drive home to my hometown, I'm talking to my boy on the phone the whole time. And, you know, if I could have recorded that phone call, it would have been tight. There's a scene in the very beginning of the movie 
the real AIX.com, which I gotta reinstate that soon. Because I see the very first scene of the movie, I'm on the phone with Helen Back, and I'm talking to Helen Back about this lowrider minivan that pulled up alongside me. Um, if I had recorded that, and somebody else would have saw that, that they would have, they would have put that together, and that was a piece of history being made. Because I'm talking to my boy on the phone. And this lowrider, mini lowrider, minivan, miniature wheel. Dude was so tight, dude had a TV in the sun visor. That's off the hook. I mean, you know. But, I don't, know, I don't even know what I'm talking about today. Oh, yeah, AT&T. I can't say my phone number. I lost my number. Uh, they got all these other people like Metro and Getro and Jet This and blah, 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 and all these phone companies. If there's anybody out there, no matter what town you live in, if they got an all-inclusive phone service, cheap, let me know. I'm going to wait until maybe Saturday and go in there and get me a new phone service. Um, I really miss AT&T, man. They, they came through for me. And I might even just go give them a little deposit and, and start my service back up with them. But um, what I really want to get at is this. When you owe somebody money it's funny that they can sell your debt how much did they sell three hundred and fifty eight dollars worth of debt for if somebody's gonna try to charge me five hundred dollars for it did they sell it for three fifty eight or did they sell it for two hundred did they sell my debt for a hundred dollars how come I couldn't buy my debt see what I'm saying they sold the debt. I'm pretty sure they sold it at discount. I'm positive they sold it for less than what it was. But these collection agencies have the audacity to jack up the debt. I remember one time I had a Target credit card. I never paid it. I never paid it. Just wouldn't pay it. Just wouldn't pay it. And then I had got something else. And I wouldn't pay it. 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 And then I get a phone call, and it's a young black lady. She said, man, come on. This debt is, is outrageous. You owe Target, you know, 240 something dollars, da, 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 blah, blah. I'm like, nah, -uh. I don't owe 240 It was like a 175 for a basketball hoop, some shit like that. And I'm like, ma'am, all I owe is 175 Yeah, that's what it says. Your purchase was 175 but... Interest rates, blah, 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 it's two, it's two something, she said, something like that. I'm like, you know what? And she said, you know what? She said, you know what? I will take the 175.49 that you, 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 for the purchase you made, and that'll clear this up. I gave that lady $149 over the telephone. She took the money. That cleared me up. I was cool. I get a phone call from these other people. And I'm like, you know what, dude? I only owe this and that and this and that. And I tell you what, I'm willing to pay what I owe. And they're like, nah, sir, da da, who am I gonna believe? Da 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 da. I believe my employees, they've been trying to call you, da da da. I'm like, you know what? If I owe this, I'm paying this. I'm not paying no more than what I owe, dude. Gave these people the same information pretty much I gave the black chick for Target. These motherfuckers. Took six hundred eighty-three dollars out my bank account, and I was stuck in Berkeley. Don't get me wrong; they didn't even clear my fucking take the shit off my credit rating. They raided my bank account. These collection agencies add money onto what you owe, and when you agree to pay what you owe, they raid your bank account. So, if anybody out there owes a collection agency, don't pay the collection agency shit. You refer to the people that you owe. You tell them I'm willing to pay you in full. You get a statement from them stating that they cannot accept your money. And you're clear. Because I told these people at at and and I'm going to go in again with the money in hand and do this whole process again and get a letter stating I would pay them in cash at and but not this collection agency. You people out there who owe people and you got the money to pay them back, go to the people you owe and don't go to the collection agencies. You've been tubed.